Good afternoon and welcome to Steer Park for this Sense League 2 game where the Blues, Blues take on high flying Stalin Albion. On camera today is Craig Murphy and with Lawrence uh, off spending his millions in the shops in Edinburgh, I'm delighted to be joined by Martin McClellan, long time Blues fan. Martin's going to bring you the Stalin Albion lineup. Okay, Brian. Uh, one change from last week for Stalin Albion with Robert Thompson com- coming in to replace the injured banner. So. Their team for today is number one in goals, Blair Curry. Number two, Ross McGeeky. Number four, Paul McLean. Five, Jordan McGregor. Seven, Aaron Dunsmore. Nine, Dale Carrick. Ten, Jack Leach. Eleven, Danny Denham. Eighteen, Harrison Clark. Nineteen, Kai Fotheringham. And twenty-three, Robert Thompson. The substitute bench today for Stirling is 17. Substitute goalkeeper is Callum Lowe. 21, Josh Cooper. 14, Danny Burns. 15, Kieran Moore. And number 8, Ross Davidson. And for the Blues, who show three changes from last week's game eh, against Stirling at Stair Park, where they drew one each, in come uh, Luke Watt, Kyle Garvin and Craig Malcolm. And I'll go to the teams and say Luke Scullin's goal number one. Number two, Scott Robertson. Four is Kyle Garvin. Five is Craig Ross. Eight, the captain, Grant Gallagher. Nine, Craig Malcolm. Ten, Josh Walker. Fourteen, Dean Hawkshaw. Sixteen, Dylan Forrest. Twenty, Luke Watt. And twenty-two is Sean McIntosh. Uh, sub- uh, Thirteen, goalkeeper, George Connor. Nineteen, Salim Quida Asa. Seven, James Hilton. Twenty-three, Mark Grant. Eighteen, Scott McLean. Thirty is Akichi Easy. And three is Sam Ellis. Dean Hawkshaw will start proceedings for for the Blues this is what I thought uh, McIntosh in front of Ross in fact it's Garvin on the right hand side Ross on the left hand side yeah it certainly looks like a definite three at the back anyway yeah, uh, yeah it's, a, it's a three at the back no doubt about it this is Luke Watt early doors for first and Rart it's up to pitch is looking pretty good today, yeah Brian, pitch is looking the great, had last week. McIntosh going for the early ball here on the right hand side and gets it that's, that's a good ball in. Craig Malcolm just a wee bit short there. It'll be one or three, I'd think. Leach is having a, a look at it as well. He's, he can take them for this type of range, but it's, I'm quite sure it's going to be following him or Denham. He'll, like he'll strike this. Yeah. Yeah. Just over the, over the bar. He wasn't far away. Yeah, he's, he was. Uh, he can do that. He's, I've seen him doing it in the. The replays are held still in Albion's games. Big punt up the park. And yeah, that's a good one. The enemy is on the far side. Falls to Carrick. Oh, oh good play there. Watt from almost Watt, Watt, yeah. stops him. Not, not. He's, he's got past him. He's going to get it in as well. Oh, and does well. Oh. Oh. Into the arms of Scullion. Yeah. Quite harmless. No. Robo misses the header on it's Denham's well well they're looking for offside but you're not getting it. Oh and it's oh, and that was really poor play for Stan Rahn. That's Robert Thompson score for Stalin Albin. Uh, I've got to say the boy in the far side looks well offside, but uh, we'd hate to see it in a replay. So we have shown this season at home that we do have the the character to come back into games. So yeah, hope that absolutely. It's, it's not the end of it. Yeah, it was Thompson in 15 minutes. Now he has a good That's move. A good move. Yeah. Two, oh, oof. Go on. Oh, oh, unlucky. Very unfortunate to put a corner. Surely, ref. That's a corner, referee. That is a shocking decision. Referee, it's a sh- corner. No, he's. Good Josh Walker. There with Josh and Dean. So nice. Oh, now. well played. Here's Walt with a chance to get it in the middle if he can. Oh, there's. Must be. Oh, yes, yes, it is. Absolutely goal. beautiful goal. Oh. And it's Dylan Forrest with equal absolutely beauty. Great, Great work for Luke Walt on the far side. And brings in Dylan Forrest and a beautiful goal by the Blues. One each. And he's, he's definitely eyeing this up. There's nobody. Get, this is not coming as a cross. This is coming as a shot, I can assure you. So let's see how he, how he gets on with it. That's oh, going for a wee neck corner. There. Yep. So it's Kyle Garvin. I'm going to be 
That's a great ball, actually, by Garvin. Oh, and there's oh, that's great play. Oh, that's again. Oh, oh, what is... Must be a penalty. Oh. No. Very, very close to being a penalty, I would say. I, th I think the boy got the ball right enough, but... That's a great I ball, you know. Oh, that's handball. Oh, that's a handball. That's a Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure... Not sure the... Well, another contentious one for us to look at in the replay, I suppose, uh, in the highlights. Oh, it's a great well won by Robo. Oh, must oh great be. ball. Yes. Oh, yes, fantastic yes. goal again. Shifty McIntosh with the second. Oh. Scott McIntosh gets the second for the Blues. Turn it around. one nothing down, 2-1 for the Blues. And Josh... He does well. I just unlucky. He's unlucky. He's there, yeah. now. So, Craig Ross should get that. Yep, he does. Oh, he's unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Really unfortunate, Craig Ross. It's on the break. Oh, you have yeah, to. Craig's done well to get uh, back. Just stay in your feet, Craig. That's it, my son. Oh, here's oh, Carrick in. What a chance. Oh, and he's just past the post. But unfortunately, if it's done uh, Craig Ross is, you know, wayward pass. But unfortunate, I suppose. But it goes for a corner. Yep. Going to take a quick one, but they decide against it. And there's wee Josh with the oh, and it's a bit of an up and under for Luke Watt there. It's still in it there. It's still right for oh, it's oh, a goal. Yes. Oh, fantastic Absolutely goal! Brilliant goal. I think it's Grant Gallagher. It Grant Gallagher with the third, I think. They're all they're all over all over. I think it's Grant Gallagher with an overhead kick, which would, you could see at the World Cup, but I wouldn't think I'd see it at Stair Park. Brilliant goal, and I think it's definitely Grant Gallagher has got it. Quite hard to see. Yeah, I think it was Gallagher, yeah, you're right enough. Strange wee sprint there from the referee across to the touchline, I'm not entirely sure what I thought he was going to be words with somebody on that, that, the other side, but uh, Gallagher is well up there now, Walker with a chance. Oh, lovely for Walker. Now, Dylan Forrest slipped it to Gallagher. What? Oh, if what that was meant, that was the, that oh, was the ball of the Josh season. Joe. If that was meant, oh, oh unlucky. If that, if, the, if that had went to Josh Malcolm, Walker's kept it in. Oh, come on, Malky, can you tell him? If oh, that had been at ten, that was the goal of the season. Oh, yes, <laughs> without doubt. What a fantastic pass that was from Grant Gallagher. Again, a great harassing for. Oh, yeah, it was sure. brilliant for, for Matty Grant and, and Josh Walker. Now, Grant, oh, he oh. was looking for the run away, uh, Josh Walker, but. I don't, I don't know if Josh was in the same wavelength or no, but oh, that's a poor, oh, yes, poor well pass played. out there for, for Kieran Moore. Oh, it's, a, it's a naughty ball. Oh, it's a, Hawkshaw. Like, oh. Oh, what a chance for Hawkshaw. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, oh, oh, yes, well read. Oh, <laughs> oh no, he's played. The Comedy of Verse there for Stenar yes, there. This is. Oof. Going. That's wide. Uh, Yes, we go into yeah, and that's it. Full time. Yes. Fantastic performance for the Blues. Three-one, Martin. Yeah, Your thoughts on a fantastic performance. Absolutely, Brian. Fully deserved. I thought every man in the park was outstanding. Playing against a very good team, we've got to remember. So, I, I think everybody was brilliant. Some of the passing football we played was outstanding. Yeah, absolutely. The best ninety minutes of the season of this, of this you know, Fist and Rar. Absolutely brilliant. You know, when it went down, you know, we thought, well, we've got to come back again, and we did, and fantastic. That's right, Brian. It was a very soft goal that we lost, and you sort of wonder how we're going to react to that. But as you say, from that point onwards, we were in complete control, I think. Yeah, massive th three points for St. Riley. They go up into fourth place at top four, where we want to be. Uh, and for myself, this is our last home game until, I think, the middle of January. For myself, Martin and Carmel and Craig, like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Stranraer FC and it's good night from us.